Hey, how's it going guys? Dazzling here and welcome back to another exciting video. Today I am bringing back my Arms Warrior PvP guide series and this time it's for BFA patch 8.0.1. In this series I'll be going through talents and PvP talents, keybindings and movements, DPS rotation, Azerite traits and gear, macros and add-ons. Today's video we will be taking a look at talents and PvP talents and I will go through what I use and why I use them. Hope you guys enjoy. So I use two builds in PvP. The first one focuses on building up your damage for a huge mortal strike crit, pretty much a burst build, and the second one sets you up with a more sustained damage. So for the mortal strike build I use um, Sudden Death, Storm Bolt, Massacre, Defensive Stance, Warbreaker, Avatar, and Dreadnought. So the reason why I use Sudden Death is because I find it to be the most useful out of the three. So for War Machine, it's probably better used in the battleground than arenas because you won't be killing a lot of people in arenas, uh, which won't trigger the effect. Uh, if you PvP casually, I still prefer Sudden Death more because it does feel a lot smoother to, uh, to be part of your DPS rotation. And um, the same thing goes with Skull Spiller. Um, this is better off to be used in PvE. Uh, it's used to, sus uh, to sustain your rotation when you run out of rage. Uh, not that useful in PvP, so I stick with Sudden Death. For the second row, uh, Storm Bolt is definitely the best choice because it offers uh, you a CC and it can be used offensively or defensively depending on the situation, and it's just very, very nice to have. If you're playing PvP casually, uh, then Double Time and Impending Victory can be fun to play with. But I strongly suggest you use uh, Storm Bolt because it does give you a opportunity to defend yourself or kill a target that's running away or maybe prevent someone from casting. It could be really really useful than having two charges or uh, using your victory rush that heals you. So for the third row, uh, Massacre synergizes with uh, Death Sentence really really well. Uh, for the battle, we don't really use Whirlwind much. Yeah, it's pretty useless and uh, for Rand, um, this one is like every time you use Rand, it's like a chunk of your soul just taken uh, out of your character. Like this is how much rage it costs and uh, it's really rage consuming and uh, it, it feels weird to be part of your rotation. So Massacre is definitely the way to go. For our fourth row, um, defensive stance is there so we don't get one shotted pretty much. Um, you take 20% less damage but the damage you deal is decreased by 10%. Uh, I would say it's a fair trade, um, definitely a better choice than Battling Stride and Second Wind in arenas. But if you're PvPing casually, uh, Battling Stride is pretty fun to play with. Uh, if you know that your healer will heal you, that is. And Second Wind is pretty useless because if you're always in combat, you will never heal. Uh, which is a completely useless talent. I wish Second Wind was what it was back in uh, Miss of Pandaria. Now those were the fun days. And we're moving on to the level 75 row. Uh, Cleave is better off in PvE, uh, I find it to be extremely useless in PvP and collateral damage can be pretty fun to play with if you're using the Mortal Strike build but I normally pre just prefer Warbreaker better. And for the last two rows, Delicom and Ravager, um, they're pretty useless in PvP and yeah, that's about it for this um, Mortal Strike build. So now we move on to the PvP talents. So for the Burst build, you definitely want to use uh, Sharpened Blade um, it increases your mortal strike by 15%, but it does uh, reduce your healing taken by 50%, so you want to use this carefully. Now for this talent, uh, although it really it, it no longer has, uh, has a timer on it, but you still don't want to like just keep it activated uh, at all time because you do take less healing and it gives your enemies more opportunities to kill you. So you probably want to use it instantly uh, and activate it instantly. It does have a global cooldown though, but it's not too long, so you're fine. And the second one, I use Death Sentence. This synergized with Sudden Death really well before, uh, because every time you execute procs, you can have a mobility. Uh, you can catch up to mages pretty easily with this. But uh, it was nerfed like two days ago, so we no longer have this option. Uh, which makes this kind of useless, uh, not really though, it does still synergize with Massacre, so it does, uh, it's it's not as useful as, uh, uh, as what it was before, but it's still pretty useful, 
And uh, if you don't know what uh, if you don't know what you want to use, then you probably want to use death sentence. But if you can replace it with a better talent, uh, depending on the situation that you're in, then you probably want to go for it uh, instead of using this one. So for the last row, I normally have it set as spell reflection uh, as a default for world PvP purposes and also battlegrounds. But uh, if I'm in the arena, this changes pretty much all the time depending on the situation that I'm in. So basically if you're versing a mage, uh, you probably want to use uh, spell reflection and if you're up against a warrior, then the disarm will be your uh, go-to ability to take uh, less pressure from their team. And uh, if you want to peel your healer, you can use dual. <clears throat> and uh, war banner if you want to have less CCs and have a movement speed uh, increased by 30%. And uh, if you don't if you don't know which ones to pick, you can always go with Storm of Destruction. And for Shadow of the Colossus and Masterland Commander, um, they're not really used too often by me. I uh, haven't seen a lot of people use them as well. But uh, it could be used if you know what you're doing with these talents. But uh, for what I do, I don't really uh, um, have a chance to use these talents. So I normally just go with either Spell Reflection, Disarm, Duel, or War Banner. Okay, so moving on to our next build. So instead of Avatar, we use In for the Kill, which Warbreaker increases your haste by 10% uh, or 20% if your target is below 20% health. And uh, for the last row, uh, instead of Dreadnought, we use Anger Management, which every 20 rage you spend uh, reduces the remaining cooldown on your Warbreaker and Bladestorm by 1 second, which can synergize with Storm of Destruction, which is why we trade Shadow and Blade for this one. And yeah, so this is the sustained damage build, and the same goes for the rest, uh, what I explained before. And that's pretty much your talent choices. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. If you find it useful, please leave a like, and if I said anything wrong, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And next week we'll talk about keybindings and movements. So until then, peace out.